The University of Chicago men's soccer team is used to having success, but they've taken it to a new level this season, ranked number one in the country in Division Three, and they're doing so with a new head coach breaking some barriers. Matt Zahn has the story from campus. The main thing that has allowed us to have the success this year is just uh, our grittiness. I think the coach Sitch from the very beginning has really harped on us outworking the other opponents. Honestly, it's the competitiveness that Sitch kind of instilled in the team from the very beginning. Um, the first day of preseason kind of set the standards for us. Coach Sitch would be Julianne Sitch, a former Red Stars player and assistant coach who took over the team in April. Sitch is one of two women coaching a men's team in all of Division Three, It's really special, you know, I feel very like honored to be in this role and humbled by it, but however, I think, um, you know, back in my day, I watched a lot of men's pro soccer because there wasn't a lot of females um, to look up to in that role until really the 99, the 99ers that we like to call them for young women. If we don't see it, they don't believe it, right? They don't dream it, they don't go after it. So I think this is just like really cool, again, like for young girls to get out there and like you see it, you can dream it, you can believe it, you can be it, right? So I think that that part is like really cool, just giving the next generation something to aspire to. Once you start in your groups, that's who your team is throughout the whole entire time. All competing today. Here we go. Sitch was previously an assistant for the University of Chicago women's team, one of a number of women's coaching jobs she's held along the way. This is her first time leading a men's squad, but to her, it's not really any different. They're just athletes. They want to be their best. Like they come out, they're competitive, they work hard, you know, and that's been like my experience both on the men's and women's side. Even when I was here at East Chicago, um, to USC, to, you know, the Red Stars and coaching in the NWSL. Like again, they just, they want to be at their best. They're eager, they're humble, they're hungry, they're ready to go after more. And clearly whatever Julianne is doing, is working. The Maroons are unbeaten, ranked number one in the country in Division Three, and confident they have what it takes to make a deep postseason run. I definitely think we do. I think that the biggest thing we need to focus on is uh, mitigating complacency. Any team can beat any team on any given day, um, but as long as we keep uh, a, a focused mindset and come out to the, it's ready, to, ready to, to battle every single game, I think we really will. Um, have a chance to, to make it all the way. I think that's going to be very difficult, um, but I think just sticking to our principles and making sure we keep, keep on having a stitch mindset, really. <laughs> is, that a, is that an official saying? That's not, I'm just making it right now, but yeah, I'll call it the stitch mindset. The stitch mindset, clearly working for the Maroons. At the University of Chicago, Matt Zahn, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Matt. And history will be made on Friday when Sitch and the University of Chicago will play New York University, who is coached by Kim Wyatt. It's believed to be the first NCAA men's soccer game with both teams coached by women. How about that? Very cool. That is very cool. And some future Nobel Prize winners on that squad, mm -hmm. no doubt.